Boring. Boring. Well, that, Kevin, sounds like your no fun alarm's going off. Oh, tell me about it. Science is for squares. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Have no fear, buddies. I am but the humble ghost of Ernest Rutherford. Ernest Rutherford, the scientist. Oh, whatever, let's just do this. J.J. Thompson's early 1900s model of the atom, the plum pudding diagram shown here, predicted that the atom was made up of a positively charged sphere with negatively charged particles sprinkled throughout. To test this theory, I set up my own experiment. I started with a lead block, inside which I placed a radioactive source. This could be used to generate alpha particles. Next, I would need a detecting screen, used to track the path of the alpha particles. Inside this, I placed the thinnest foil I could think to use, a foil made of solid gold. I expected the particles to pass through the foil without deflection. This was indeed what occurred with the vast majority of the particles. The real discovery, however, came with a few particles that were deflected away from the foil at severe angles. More surprising still were the rare particles that actually bounced back in the direction of their origin. If the plum pudding model had been correct, the positive charge spread all throughout the atom would surely have carried it through the foil without disruption. Thanks to my experiment, I was able to determine that the particles contained a positively charged nucleus at their center, which contained most of the mass. Around this center orbited a cloud of negatively charged electrons. And also, I never once wore shoes. Oh, Rutherford! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>